Hey everybody, it's Chris and welcome back to another video. I'm bringing back a what I eat in a day video by popular demand. So you're gonna see what I eat today. And uh, I'm gonna start my morning off with some oatmeal. So I like to take my oatmeal, put it in a bowl and then put some hot water over it, let it sit for a little bit. And then I'm gonna add some ground flaxseed. Flaxseed are great for your omegas, for a little bit of fat in your diet. And then I'm gonna put in some chia seed. Chia seeds are also very healthy. And I'm gonna add some of my favorite vegan milk to it. This is Oatly in the original container. This does not contain any added oil or anything like that. And I really like the taste of it. And then I'm gonna cut up this banana here. I always buy organic bananas. I'm gonna cut that up and put that in there as well. And by the time I do all this, the oatmeal would have cooked in with the hot water. And now it's ready to eat. So there you have it. This is my first meal of the day. Some nice, tasty oatmeal. And I'll see you in a little while for lunch. Okay, so I just uh, finished filming uh, another video, which will probably be out before this one. So it's the last what's in the box video I did. And now I'm really hungry and I just wanted to wait until I could film a day of what I ate before I ate these. So these, some of these are new to me. These are the Engine 2 products. I have had a few of their different products, um, but we have some of the Engine 2 burgers. By the way, Engine 2 is by Rip Esselstyn, the son of Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn, who uh, the diet that I've been on for the last few months. I'm trying to incorporate a few more things back in my diet now that I got to a very healthy uh, blood level, cholesterol level, and uh, I'm still down to about 157, 158. So that's about 20 pounds from what I was before I went on this diet. Uh, my pants don't fit me anymore and uh, unfortunately the pants that I really like, they discontinued them. So not very happy about that. Anyway, uh, so we have the Italian fennel burger. I tried one of these burgers and let me tell you, so when you're on this diet and you don't have um, pre-made meals, you're making all your own meals and you're doing all whole foods and stuff, it's nice to be able to have something like this. I mean. I've had many, many uh, vegan burgers. I've had the Beyond Burger and some of the best. So uh, this doesn't compare really. It's kind of dry, but when you put a uh, different things, I put some salsa on it, some lettuce, tomato, onion, and a little bit of mustard, and it's pretty good. But uh, you can't really compare it to the uh, the Beyond Burger or anything like that. But if you're on this this diet, and you're eating uh, all whole, this is all, these are all whole foods and there's no fillers or anything fake in there. So uh, even though this kind of gets to go through a process to make this, it's not really, I don't really consider it processed. There's really nothing in it. Um, so we also have the Tuscan Kale White Bean Burger. And then they have another one, but I think it's, uh, th these are the only ones I have right now. Uh, I don't eat like this every day either. The only place I found these are at Whole Foods and I don't have a Whole Foods near me. So the nearest one is two hours away. So this is just what I picked up on the last trip that I went there and I want to try them today. So they also have vegan pizza crusts that I've used before. I did a video with uh, Veg Inspired where we use those pizza crusts and they're pretty good. They also have these little uh, Plant Strong burritos. This is an organic bean and veggie medley burrito. I tried a few of the burritos when I was uh, up at Lake George, we have the organic tempeh ranchero, an organic potato and green chili. And then on top of that, they also have some different uh, flavors of ravioli. I have the garbanzo spinach. So I am trying to incorporate things like avocado and some other fats back in my diet. I'm using a little bit of almond butter, peanut butter. I haven't really ate too much nuts other than the butters, but the avocado is what I've been trying to eat a little bit more of. Let's figure out which one of these we're gonna make right now. Okay, so I've decided to go with the Tuscan Cal white bean. Okay, so I can smell the garlic flavor on it. That is what it looks like. So over here to the air fryer, we've got the Shuffman air fryer. We're just gonna simply put it in there and put it about 10 minutes, 390 degrees, and now we wait. But while we're waiting, we are gonna prepare the rest of my burger sandwich. I have some Ezekiel bread. This is a flax bread. It is an organic grain. It's 
got some pretty decent ingredients in here. So this is what I'm going to be using. There's no oil. Is this uh, this multi-grain or this grain um, flax bread? And then when the burger is about two minutes from being done, I will take these frozen pieces of uh, flax bread and I will put them in the air fryer as well to toast them up a little bit. I have some tomato, which I'm going to cut with my sharp knife. I love this knife, by the way. This is the uh, Galatine by Edge of Belgravia. Such a good knife. Got the whole set over there. And then we got some red onion, which I'm going to slice some nice thin red onion to go on this. Nice sharp knife. And then we have, do you like this little gadget here? I got it in one of my uh, boxes that I got in the mail. We got some avocado. So this avocado is, yeah, it's half good. It's still good. It's got a little bit of brown in it, but uh, we'll just cut some of that out. I'm just going to cut it up real good within the little shell there, a little casing, a little coating, and then I will put it on the bread. Normally I'll put some lettuce or romaine on this as well, but I'm out. So what I'm going to do, because I still want some greens on there, is I'm going to use some nice fresh basil. Probably three to go on there. I could give it a nice little chiffonade, which I'm probably going to do. Shiffy, shift, shift, chiffonade. Smells so good. And I also got the, uh, the the everything but the bagel. Get this from Trader Joe's. I like to put some spicy brown mustard on there, but I don't have any more, I'm out. So I am gonna put some uh, mild organic salsa on there. Let's see how that's working. All right, so it's almost done. I'm gonna put the bread in there and we are going to assemble the burger sandwich. Don't try to stop me. Bread is nice and toasty and hot. We are going to assemble. Okay, so we're going to take the avocado first to assemble this and we're going to put it down as though we are making some nice, delicious avocado toast. Just like that. So we'll put some of that Trader Joe's everything but the bagel on it. Put some tomatoes right, right about there. We'll put the burger right about there. Our basil along with our onions. Nice thinly sliced onion. And then there's only one thing left to do. Well, there's a couple things left to do. We still gotta eat it too. So I'm gonna put some nice, delicious salsa on there. I don't like my salsa hot, so it's nice and mild. And there we go. There is the sandwich, as you can see. It's the burger sandwich, the burger. And there's what it looks like. And I can tell you already, it's gonna be delicious. Burger sandwich, let's uh, bite into it. It's really good, the only thing that I wish that I could put on it too is a little bit of mustard, which I'm out of, but super good. I like it. I'm gonna finish this off, and then I'll see you guys when I decide to make something else for dinner. Maybe I'll do the ravioli or the burrito next, so stay tuned. Alrighty, I'm back for another meal and I'm gonna make the engine two ravioli like I said before. Uh, I have some water boiling over here and I'm gonna make my own sauce. So uh, let's grab my little uh, Blendtec twister jar. Alrighty, I got a tomato. We're gonna put that in there. I'm also gonna put some red onion in there, some nutritional yeast in there, and some more of the basil, the fresh basil. I got my Blendtec, I got the top. We're just gonna blend this up a little bit. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, garlic powder, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, just a little bit, as well as some dried oregano. Just because I don't have another tomato, I'm also gonna put a little bit of this salsa in there as well. Just a little bit though, probably about two or three tablespoons, maybe quarter a cup. And now this goes back on the blender. And now we have our nice, fresh, healthy sauce for our ravioli. The water is boiling, so we're just gonna take these, carefully cut them out of there. And that is about, that's about enough for one serving, I'd say. That'll be my meal. I'm gonna just go put it in the, uh, the water over here. See me do that. Now we just let that cook. This is 33 grams of whole grains per serving, 
high in fiber, non-GMO, vegan, low fat, low sodium, high fiber, no sugar added. All right, Andy the Pub just finished his dinner, so now I'm about to eat mine. It's just about ready here. I'm just gonna strain it. Here we go, done. We have the cooked noodles. I'm just gonna transfer them right over here to my bowl and just put some of the sauce on top. It didn't come out too red, but that's okay because it's gonna taste good. So let's, let's try it out. I'm gonna tell you how it tastes. That's what it looks like. It's not bad, it's pretty good. I'm gonna go enjoy this and I will see you when I get hungry again. I'm actually back for more. I'm, I'm hungry again and I'm going to make my engine two burrito. I'm going with the tempeh ranchero and uh, they're frozen so I let it thaw out a little bit because I'm going to cook it in the air fryer. If you want to put it in the microwave that's fine too. I'm just going to go for the air fryer I like doing it that better but if, uh, if you take it straight out of the freezer you're going to want it to thaw out a little bit otherwise it's going to cook the outside and the inside is still going to be frozen. So what, you, what you're going to have to do if you want to still cook it in the air fryer is turn the heat down to medium and cook it for a longer time. These are pretty good. I like to put the salsa on it and maybe some avocado. I want to give an honorable mention because uh, I do have some of these at the house too. These are alpha burritos and these are by far the best frozen burritos I've ever had. They are not... Uh, on what my diet is right now. They do have oil in it and they're pretty high in sodium So I'm not gonna eat it, but I just want you guys to know if you're looking for delicious burritos Alpha foods they have four different flavors. I guess it's not all that bad It does have a little bit of oil in it and the sodium is at uh, 440 milligrams And I try to keep mine under 1500 milligrams per day. All right, it's done. Didn't take too long. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna take the other half of that avocado, put it on there. Okay, maybe like a quarter of the avocado. And some salsa. Just pour that right on top. There we go, there's the burrito. The ranchero. I could have made my own little sauce to put over it, but this is like a lazy dinner, a lazy healthy dinner. And by the way, in case you're wondering, because it's been pretty ambiguous here in these videos um, I wake up kind of later than most people do and I stay up through the night so right now it is completely dark out There's zombies out there maybe a few werewolves it's crazy so I'm gonna enjoy this and you know I'll be up for a few more hours editing my video so I'll probably come back and get something to snack on and I'll see you guys when I do there's that little guy they call Andy we call him Andy the pup how you doing yeah? You gonna come over here? Yeah. Yeah, you're a good boy. What's up? Yeah, you want seats? Want seats for everybody? Yeah, why don't you give me your paw? Hi, nice to meet you too. I like you. Can I have, can I have the other one? Yeah, wait, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's a good one too. You're a good boy. You wanna go get a treat? He's got all kinds of treats. I'm gonna give him a V-Dog, a wiggle bone. Yeah, you're gonna have a wiggle bone, aren't you? So here's one. There you go, you're a good boy. Yeah. Here, here. Wiggle bone. There you go. And here's the other one. There you go, mister. All right, guys, it is pretty late. I just finished my video that I've been editing for the last few hours. I'm probably gonna take Indy for a late night walk, but first I'm going to snack for my last thing that I'm gonna eat. All right guys, it is really late. I just finished my video that I've been editing for the last few hours, so that's gonna already be out by the time you watch this, but uh, I am going to eat some snacks, just relax for a little bit, watch something on Netflix, and then probably take Indy for a walk. What I have here, what I like to snack on, uh, before I finish up for the night are, are oranges. I love the Cara Cara oranges or some nice clementines. I will uh, cut them up, put them in a, in a bowl. I also have some cherries, so I'm gonna snack on a few of those. And also I have 
some uh, fresh strawberries. So just a few of those as well. So I also, also, <laughs> uh, the, the video that I just uh, finished editing is my, the last what's in the box video and that will already be up so by the time you're watching this one it's it's already live so i got the justin's uh cashew butter so i'm gonna snack on one of these as well like i said i'm trying to incorporate some more of the fatty foods back into my diet because i was super low fat before so uh hence the avocado and this so the way i like to eat my oranges are i like to cut them into wedges and like a vampire suck the juice right out of them they make me smile when i bite into them this is not how i eat every day you know some days i eat more and some days i eat less uh, i eat when i'm hungry and when i'm full i stop so i don't count calories or anything like that i can kind of uh tell like a balance if i'm eating usually if i'm eating junk food which i haven't i haven't been eating junk food but if i do i can kind of balance it where you know that's enough now i gotta start eating healthy um but yeah i've been on this super healthy diet like i said i had those uh, engine 2 prepackaged foods that i wanted to try today and i wanted to try while i made the video so i liked them they were great for what they are and and too bad I can't find them at more places, only Whole Foods. I hope you liked the video. Give me that thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell so you don't miss notifications. I'll see you next time. And as always, watch out for those zombies. Oh.